What is up guys, my name is Ali and welcome to the third part of the initial Shangri-La Zombies gameplay. Uh, here we're going to be taking the left hand side so I can show you guys the other half of the map, uh, how to get directly to the power from this side of the map and um, where it leads you to. Uh, you get a general feel now for the map, uh, how big it is on the left and right hand side and a sort of overview of the whole map. Um, so the uh, mystery box and the perks do randomly spawn, however it tends to just be in the left or right. Look up in the sky for the mystery box, the blue light, uh, then you know to head off to the left or the right uh, if you want to go to the mystery box first and the perks are literally in the same spots but it's going to be different perks each time so it's going to be a case of finding juggernaut first probably if that's the one you prefer it's the one I prefer and then uh, moving on from there um, uh, this map is actually really, really fun. Uh, there's going to be lots of little hidden things in there which I'll be uploading. Uh, the, I didn't continue directly on from the second part because nothing much happened. It was literally my initial playthrough. I managed to get to the power uh, on the first playthrough. This is my second playthrough to the left-hand side so I can show you exactly what's happening on the whole of the map. Um, so if you'd like to see more sort of full in-depth strategy and tips and the Easter eggs and hidden things within the map, feel free to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done already. Um, so it'd be awesome to get a few likes and favorites on this video would really help me out and really help to spread the video around. Um, so to the left hand side here you can see a juggernaut this time uh, in the first playthrough you saw a juggernaut on the right. As I said it randomly spawns on the map um, along with the mystery box. The mystery box will uh, randomly spawn. You've got to look up in the sky, take a look at the blue light, it's pretty obvious, and then literally take the left or right route depending on uh, where the blue light is coming from. So in front of me here you can see the um, minecart, it will take you underground and then chuck you off. Um, at a lower part of the map, there's also the waterwork system. You can take the waterworks down and it will t uh, traverse you around the map and throw you out at a different location. Um, it, it, I wish this, this map was a little bigger, I'm not going to lie. Um, it would be more fun with four people, it's just a bit too cramped. Uh, however, uh, it will definitely last us a few weeks and uh, with the new baby gun or shrink gun and uh, pack-a-punching that and pack-a-punches and pack-a-punching uh, the guns, it does make it fun. Zombies always is fun with a lot of friends. Um, so I'm also going to have a multiplayer game play up. I've played a few of the maps. Uh, there's one that's based around Newtown, as in it's small, it's compact, there's two sides to the map, two covering points on either side of the map. Um to make it as similar as Newtown as possible. I didn't like that map too much. Uh, there was a map based off of uh, the map from World at War called Cliffside. Uh, haven't had a chance to play it yet, but it looks fantastic, and I'll have gameplay up of that either today or tomorrow. And again, if, you, if you're interested in multiplayer as well, then that's definitely something to check out. Um, so this may not be the last map, in fact. Uh, I believed it was. However, it, they, we could find that there'll be another one released around August, September time over the summer period. Um, We've never seen a map pack being released this late, but it seems they definitely want to get as much value for money as they can out of this Black Ops game and try and release as many map packs as possible. Um, so, of course, we're going to be... Uh basically focusing on this map pack for the moment it just looks fantastic as we lead up to Modern Warfare 3, uh, it's going to be really really awesome, um, and there's this water shoot here which is really awesome, chucks you back up and it's a good way of escaping from zombies if you stay underground near the waterworks and then if you get uh, find yourself being trapped it will just throw you back up and uh, you'll be above ground and uh, for, uh, safe for a little while anyway um, so you definitely want to pick up a gun, one main gun which you're going to use until you get to the power and then you can go for the mystery box, um, I've stuck with the AK here, 1200 points uh, it's a really good gun. Uh, it's the one sort of closest to the power and one of the most efficient guns to pick up straight away. Uh, so I definitely recommend going for that one there. Uh, now I've tried out the uh, new spike more, which you can check out in the top left hand corner a little more, and um, it seems that it's just very similar to the claymore to be honest, it's an awesome sort of aesthetic feeling uh, weapon, and uh, the fact that they've tried to sort of put something new in there is really really cool. Um, so this underground place is tough, and I wouldn't recommend spending too long in here, uh, unless of course you're going to use it, or you've got an escape route ready, uh, the uh, of course minecart will traverse down to this point here, and um, then there's the waterwork system which you can use uh, to get down here as well. Now there's also the pack-a-punch machine which is really hard to get, you have to stand on certain points in the map, certain stones if you will, and um, once you've uh, pushed all of them down it will sort of lodge into place and uh, then you'll unlock the pack-a-punch machine. Uh, I'll have gameplay of the brand new uh, gun being pack-a-punch, the baby shrink ray, it's got a really weird name, uh, we're not going to pronounce it, but uh, I'm sure you guys want to see that on day one of course. Um, so we're coming to an end here, uh, we've almost got to the power room, we're just entering now, so this is how to get there from the left hand side, so hopefully you now know how to get there from both the right and left hand side. You can pick and choose as to where the mystery box is, how much points you have, where you want to go, which uh, guns you prefer on either side of the map, there's the PMC. 63 in the right hand side, the MPL and AK on the uh, left hand side. Um, 
So that's completely up to you. So hopefully you've, you've enjoyed a sort of insight on day one to the Annihilation map pack uh, for Zombies Shangri-La. Uh, I really appreciate it. If you could show some love and like or favourite the video, it would really help me out. Uh, feel free to follow me on Twitter if you enjoyed my commentaries. And if you uh, aren't a part of the Allier Nation, if you will, yet, then feel free to hit the subscribe button. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, I'll see you uh, with more uh, Black Ops Annihilation uh, map pack gameplay for Zombies. And uh, thank you very much for watching.